Okay, I will now try to show you how I would approach the re-exam in VBSTA 5 from 2018. It's a statistics course and what I have here is the exam set downloaded as a zip file uh, named re-exam set and the first thing I'll do is to extract it to this, this location and then um, see whatever uh, it contains. Inside the zip folder, there is this uh, PDF file re-exam handout, and we can open that and see, okay, when was the exam taking place and uh, what it consists of, in this case, three main exercises with uh, a total of eight uh, sub-exercises. And there's a note about that each sub-exercise is weighted equally when grading the the hand ends. In this video I will focus on how to set up the basic document that should be handed in and how to solve the first uh, of the exercises, of the free exercises. So let's get started. I want to use uh, RStudio with an R Markdown document. So I'll say a new file and a new R Markdown document. And then I need to name it something and Re exam 2018, maybe SD5, and who is the author? That's uh, me. So I'll just write my name and I'll choose to use the uh, output in uh, PDF mode. So now I'm up and running, and all this uh, default uh, content of this document I want to uh, remove. Then I can start to insert uh, different uh, elements, but I, of course I can also just uh, save this initially. So in the same directory where I uh, placed my re-exam set.zip file, I can enter that and then I can have my hand in a file in, in this direction. So re-exam hand in uh, should be the name of the file. I used to use this name in, in this case. And now we can uh, more or less just uh, get started. I expect to use the tidyverse package, so I'll just start by loading, loading it like this. And then to mark that I start the first exercise, I'll just make a headline one dot and then the title of, of the exercise and it's named fireworks and then to show that i'll be working on the first part of the that exercise uh, 1a just add this uh, headline and i can do something similar with the uh, with the two other uh, sub exercises there Oh, well, actually there are four, so... Like this. So, now I need to fill in what is uh, here and uh, make a few uh, descriptions of, of how I'm approaching it. So, first of all, let's see if we can uh, read and figure out what the different exercises are about. So, the first one, we should load the data from this file and recreate the plot uh, that is shown below. So let's see if we can, can do that. First of all, let's load the data from this uh, file in the director data slash fireworks.csv. So let's start by doing that. Loading data from and this is just a description um, for whoever needs to to grade the assignment that and it's always nice to uh, add some few comments about what you're actually doing so I want to save the data into the rival fireworks and I can use the read CSV uh, function for that from the from the reader package and let's see uh, what it gets into here. 
uh, it states that it finds a single column named measure year and count that has the type called character and let's see if that makes sense it doesn't look right to me um, well it's it has messed up this loading of the file so let's actually see if we can open this file and see how it's uh, structured Um, that was in the data and the fireworks. Okay. When I look here, I can see that there is a single uh, digit or a single character here, filling a bit more than just a, a single space. So that must be, um, or that could be a tabulator. So let's just close this again, which means I cannot use uh, CSV, but will use the read the limb. Uh, method. We also need to specify what the delimiter is, and that's a tabulator, so I can say a backslash t. And now it makes a bit more sense. There is a measure, and a year, and a count, and they are all three uh, columns. So now the data set looks much nicer than before. Um, Plotting the data using ggplot. So now we need to take the fireworks data and send it through ggplot. And let's take a look at the at the plot in the exam set that we need to recreate. We can see that we have some different observations on the columns. We have the years on the x-axis and we have the number of damages whatever that should be in the uh, in the handed out data and we have some dots that are colored also accordingly to what measure there is so just to get an overview of, of the data uh, we can use this uh, summary command on the fireworks we can see that the year is covering from 1980, 1998 to 2014, which matches nicely with our uh, plot. And also the count goes from 36 to 200 and something, and that also matches quite well over here. So it seems like whatever has been plotted uh, shown with small points, so we should use the dune point. Uh, John from uh, ggplot to plot these data and we needed to have year on the x-axis and the counts on the y-axis and let's see where this takes us okay this plot here it's not exactly what is shown here but uh, we are getting closer to it we can adjust the year and the number of damages uh, right away using the labs command number of what was it damages okay we are getting closer and we can also see that the inserted points here are colored according to the measure of arrival so let's see if we can can do this which means we need to adjust the color based on the measure. Oh yeah. Now we are quite close to, to this. We need to fill in this uh, title up here and then we are more or less done. Firework related damages in Norway. Yeah. So now I think we more or less have solved the, the first uh, sub exercise in the exam set. We have a plot that is uh, quite close to what is shown here. There might be a, a different or uh, I can see that the size of the plot uh, differs a bit, but all the elements are in place. 
and uh, I think that's uh, good enough for what we want to do. If we want to do it a bit better, we can adjust the fit height uh, to 85 and uh, width to uh, maybe 6. Don't know what the exact numbers were. Um, we're getting a bit close. I'll just reduce the height a bit and then say, okay, this is close enough for, for whatever we, we want to do. Um, and to explain a bit more about how I have solved this uh, exercise, I will write a few more lines up here that we will use ggplot to plot the data. We already have that. Uh, the data points are shown with uh, geom point. Um, and the variables have been added to the aesthetics uh, x y and color good and just to make it completely clear what is what we can also add that uh, here so we can see which aesthetics has uh, been matched with um, Finally, the labels and title of the plot is adjusted. So let's see what comes out of this. I want to knit to a PDF. Then let's see uh, how this looks like. We can see what is handed in and by whom. For the exam, I expect it to be an anonymous exam, so please don't provide your name here, but uh, your uh, exam number. Then we can see whatever uh, happens here. We can see that we load the data fireworks, we look at some summary statistics, and then a, a short description of how we have plotted the data, including uh, code here, and the generated output. And then we are good to go on, on to the next um, sub-exercise. So let's do the same here. The next step here will be to describe the data. Um, so we should see if we can describe whatever we are seeing up here. Um, and uh, see if the, the stories, see if the data tell us a story. Um, and well, we have something here that's looking interesting. From the uh, first year, 1998, and forward to 2005, 6, 7, we had uh, a number of person damages around 120 each year, which is more or less uh, halved. Uh, from 2018, 2008 and onwards. So let's see if we can describe this. Uh, the, data, the plot shows data about the number of damages related to fireworks in Norway during the uh, time from 1989 to uh, and what was the last one 2014 if I recall it correctly from 1989 to 2017 the average number of 
damages of person related damage damages uh, was around damages per year which is reduced to around city damages per year during or from 2008 and onwards. A similar reduction is seen in the total amount of it. Damages, which goes from ah one hundred a year to, and that might be seventy. So some. Something. So what we can see here is that something drastically seems to change from 2007 to 2008. Good. So now we have a short description of whatever these data are showing us. And um, well, of course, we can't generate the data exactly uh, as is, as they are from this uh, description. We get a rough idea what the plot will be showing us. It could make sense to show some uh, variance uh, or describe how larger region the values fall into, but uh, well, I won't cover this right now. The one C exercise. It's asked us to calculate the mean value and standard deviation uh, in some of the of the years. So let's see what we can do here. We have the fireworks uh, data. And yeah, uh, I'll make a new uh, column that specifies whether we are within this range from 1998 to 2007. So I'll ask if the year is less than 2007. Uh, less than or equal. So here I get an in range that is true for some observations and then uh, becomes false. And finally I can say group by this in range variable and the uh, measure. And what can I do now? I can say summarize. That is to sum up all elements in, in these groups. Um, so we have the mean value. That was the mean value of the counts. So now we have the mean value of the person damages that was in the range. So that was 200 and uh, 127.4 and the total amount of damages per year in the in this uh, duration was uh, 163 and in addition to that we can also add some standard deviation uh, 
uh, up here. So now we have all the, the numbers. And it's not really good just to hand in this piece of code. Of course, it demonstrates that you actually can solve the exercise, but uh, if you add a, a small description of actually how it was solved, what your thoughts about uh, the solution is, then it's much better. So uh, let's see if we can uh, get something uh, described here. First, the fire works data set is divided into two regions or subsets based on the year of the observation set. This is done by adding the in range uh, column to the data. Then all observations are grouped by um, in range and measure. And finally, uh, summarized by the mean and standard deviation. Mean and standard deviation. Uh, I might need to load the library later. Uh, the reason I want to get it through cable here is that the output looks a bit better in my point of view. So, did we get that? Was the original? So why am I much? Okay. Here we get the document, and now we have the uh, output for for this. Actually, this uh, contains a bit more information about what we actually need because it was only the data that was within the range, that is the two rows with the true value here that should be, be shown. But I don't think it um, is a bad thing also to show the, the mean values of the two previous years. Good. And whatever do we miss to, to do now? We have the one, the exercise 1D. And finally, we are asked to use a t-test to compare the total number of damages per year for the two groups. Uh, and the groups are years prior to and including 2017 and afterwards. So we can use more or less the same approach as up here. And then we need to send these data into a t-test. And the data is what is being forwarded. And the relation we need to look into is the account um, Well, that was a bit too fast. So what comes out here? The total number of damages. So we can actually filter this a uh, bit. Measure should be total, like here. Um, and whatever we need to do now is we can take these data 
and send them uh, into the t-test method and what we want to describe is how the count variable depends on the in range and the data was what has been uh, piped so now we have the result here it states that or it describes what we have done it uh, was two sample uh, t-tests which means we have two different uh, populations and we want to compare we find a t-value and some degrees of freedom and finally a p-value uh, for the data set which is uh, quite low so uh, and the p-value is so low that we actually can discard the uh, null hypothesis so we need to figure out uh, exactly what the null hypothesis is when doing this um, so we need to add a, a few lines of text up here to conduct a t-test we need to define a null hypothesis um, in this case uh, null hypothesis is that the average number of damage damages for the two time uh, periods are the same so that's another hypothesis that on average we have the same amount of, of damages each year um, the alternative is um, that they differ so in the null hypothesis which we will put a number on a p-value from our t-test is that the average number of damages in the first set of years from um, from 1998 to 2007 is the same as from 2018 and onwards and from the plot we saw that they actually were more or less uh, uh, reduced by 50% so we don't expect these to be be the same um, they differ good based on the plot in 1a I don't expect the null hypothesis to um, be true. This is a a comment towards this. Um, the, the the results from the t tests is shown below. And now we need to put a few words uh, on this. Um, so according to the t-test uh, p-value, which which has a p-value of and then 1.6. Of around two to the minus two times ten to the minus six. Um, the null hypothesis can be rejected. And I'll just take the, the comment from prior to doing the actual t-test and then moving it uh, down here. 
this matches my expectation from the from the plot generated in 1A. So what we have now is uh, answers to, to the first uh, four sub-questions in the re-exam set from 2018. Um, we have loaded some data. We have uh, summarized them and made a plot. We have made a description of the data. And finally, we have uh, calculated both the mean value and standard deviation um, of the observations grouped by uh, two uh, different years, or in two different uh, time spans. And finally, we have conducted a t-test uh, and defined a null hypothesis for doing this t-test. And what we find is that the p-value is uh, much lower than the usual thresholds we are using and therefore we can uh, reject the uh, null hypothesis um, and apart from a spelling mistake down here i think it's uh, that's a rather nice uh, solution of of these first uh, four uh, uh, questions there's one thing I want to, to change, and it's really a minor thing. Um, and that's just to add in a few headlines uh, or titles. And there it is, on what each of the sub-exercises are about. That makes it a bit easier for uh, to actually read the the hand in afterwards. So now it's easy to see. Okay, in the first exercise, I need to load data from this uh, file. It has been done. I summarized it, and we have plotted it, like here. We have described the data. We have calculated some summary statistics, and finally, we have used the t-test to compare the total number of of observations. So that's it for the first part of this uh, re-exam set.